Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boodoo. It's clear given recent unemployment rates that the job picture hasn't gotten any better out there. But even for people who do have jobs, it's not always easy. How do you make your workplace less stressful? Dr. Joan Marquez is an assistant professor of management at Woodbury University in Los Angeles. Earlier this week, I spoke with her via Skype about her new book called Joy at Work. So tell me, why do you think today's workforce needs a book like the one that you wrote? Um, I think that these people, the people of today, really want a lot of short material. They don't have a lot of time. They don't want to get bothered by huge textbooks and a lot of theory. They want to know little bites, day-to-day -day steps, like what they do in Twitter. Like, you know, the, the, the short, brief messages that they send to each other um, every day. And this book is the kind of reader that you read for a minute and you put it aside and tomorrow you can read it again. So in today's economy, a lot of people are doing a lot more work if they do have jobs, and there's just a lot more stress. How do you think they should handle it? Change and insecurity are things that we really have to get more and more familiar with these days. Um, in this book, I also try to give people some, some encouragement, some motivation to face that, um, basically helping them to understand that it is just part of life, and that if it wouldn't be there, life would not be as spicy as it is today. So I'm trying to give them a positive look on it because I know that it's difficult and I know that, you know, today it's down and tomorrow it's up, but that's just the sequence of life. So what's the best principle or piece of advice you can give people? I would say, you know, you should never settle for a stressful situation if that's what it is. You always have opportunities out there. This job is just a job, just like any other job. The first thing that I always tell my students and the people that I engage with in workshops is first change your paradigm. Start realizing that you are not working for this employee, you are working with this employee and you have the same, the same freedom to step out of this as they do. That means you have alternatives and you can start looking at them but at the same time while you're looking at them and while the opportunities are not for grabs like you would like to you can also try to make it as good as possible by trying to seek out the positive things that are there. Great. So what's your best advice for dealing with a really difficult coworker? Well, I think that the first thing that I do when I deal with a coworker like that is to realize that this person probably has a challenge and the challenge is his and not mine. Um, so when a person gives me a hard time, I just realize and I try to, to consider the whole scope of their life and I, I try to understand that there must be something that got them to this point. I would say a difficult worker can become an easier worker. Sometimes you just have to talk, but if talking doesn't help, you know, it just helps you to go your way and realize that you should have some compassion for this person. Wow, well that's great advice. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for this opportunity. It was wonderful. Dr. Marquez's new book is called Joy at Work. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.